Buildings are collapsing left, right, and center. In fact, I just finished watching that synagogue documentary. I just finished watching it. And what I have to say to Nigerians is, if you think that TB Joshua is the only one guilty of all those things they are showing there, if you think your own GO right now as we speak is not engaging, now <laughs> I have a new word <laughs> for abusing and raping women. It's called TBJ. And you can use it like this. Omo. That pastor go TBJ that girl. <laughs> Pastors. She was TBJ. <laughs> no, TBJ. You have to put the TB. You can't just say she was Jade because TB guys did there. Ah! <laughs> just to fuck all these men. Like, no, that's going to make fun of the open show. show. I did tell you, listen, that's what I like for last time. This, let, me, oh, let me advise all these pastors. Let me just advise all of you now. These girls also no need for you to be hiding behind all this morality, spiritual power, man of God to take advantage of them. They want to. I live Afela was a priest, too, chief priest of the African shrine with huge cult, cult like following. I fella gets, but fella was up front. That's why, as fella don't die now, we are not hearing scandal that oh, fella was girls in the organization we already know fella was all the girls in the organization man <laughs> you know hi papa let them know say this is why i'm here i feel like say sex is a spiritual thing when you lay with a woman the spiritual energy papa do everybody everybody why you men are wicked it's because you want to f and still be claiming sainthood. Be you still want to be you want to be and be telling everybody else not to. F That's your problem. It's your hypocrisy. These girls want to f too, and in fact they want to f you because you are successful. You are powerful. It's a turn on for most women. It's a turn on for most women. But because of your own hypocrisy, your darkness, your internal, you cannot say what you are about. You are lying behind all this spiritual nonsense that doesn't exist. We all know. I mean, if you have to watch this documentary, let me see something now. If you have to watch this documentary to know that TBJ has never performed a single miracle in his life, then no more, you man, you deserve to be TBJ. I repeat, if he takes this documentary for you to know that no pastor anywhere in this country has ever performed any miracle in their life. Then you deserve to be TBJ too. So you believe true to say somebody will don't creep. Somebody can make and stand up. And you go stand up. Leg will never walk. This leg has not walked or done anything. The muscles are entropic. They've not done anything in years. The muscles are weak. They've not been exercised. The person will be on wheelchair. Somebody will tell you, stand up. You will stand up immediately. You say, raise one leg. You raise it. Raise second leg. You raise it. Jump. And you will jump. With that leg. With that leg. Have you ever suffered a broken foot? Do you know somebody that has suffered a broken foot or broken arm? Have you suffered a broken arm? Wait, well, you know if you use your hand for like two months, where they just put on for cast. They can't lose the cast now. You got to learn to reuse your hand. You will start learning the game. Your fingers will start learning how to use that hand. All over. The miracle could not tired Jesus. Jesus' healing is complete. It's not only that he did it. He exercised the muscles. Not only did he heal the leg, he exercised the muscles too. Yeah, it's like a microwave. You know when they bring food, 
The people can bring your food for you. It will be cold. Yes. The people will bring it for you microwaved. Exactly. Hot. There's nothing stopping that food from getting cold. There's nothing to stop that leg to get broken next time. Uh, no, no, no. God did not say protect. <laughs> it's healed. Just, Jesus will heal it.